Barnet 2, Maidenhead United 1. A great performance from the boys here at the Hyde. I'm joined again by assistant coach Mel. Mel, great to get three points back at home and a win, uh, which is really important for us. You and the coaching staff must be really proud of that one. Yeah, we're pleased. Yeah, it was a good game. I thought both sides um, created chances, but uh, I thought we had the edge over 90 minutes and uh, fully deserved the win. I must talk quite quickly about that winter assist to Nicky Cavamba, one of the assists of the season. I think the whole goal, I mean, from the fact we picked the second ball up, I think it was Ryan played a great pass, um, Gorms then plays a great ball in, and first time cross is, is outstanding. And that's not an easy finish. You know, we all talk about the cross, and it was a great cross, but the finish is quality, you know, side foot um, and a really, really good finish. A great team goal all round. When we got the goal, we kind of looked really dominant, especially for those uh, last few minutes of that first half. Is that something that you can really take as a, as a positive from this game, the dominance that we had on the ball and off it? I think that the, the, game, the game, the opposition allows the game to be what it is. So basically, it depends who you're playing against, how the game goes. And I felt that they're looking to press us. We were looking to play and, and we got on top and we, we managed to move the ball. Didn't get the second goal, which, which is always crucial. Um, and they caused us problems. You know, their balls in the box, the way they played, um, caused us a few issues. But overall, I felt first half that, you know, we could have come out quite easily two, two or three nil. Uh, went into into half time uh, one goal up and they quite quickly got a penalty what were your thoughts on the penalty from where you're sitting uh, well the fourth fish was doing a really good job of blocking our view which was fair, fair play to him um, from what I could see I think uh, it's given against uh, the goalkeeper I believe I think Loris come flying out try to get the punch whether he got the punch or not, I, I generally couldn't see with the fourth official stood there um, and the penalty was given and uh, fair play to the lad it was a, a nice finish it was a nice finish, but that was the only goal that we conceded and obviously, I'm sure you'll agree, defensively is something we've really had to work on over the recent weeks. Getting Conceding no goals from open play is a huge plus for this team today. What are your thoughts on that and how we've managed to not concede from open play? I think in the games where we conceded a fair few goals, um, a lot of those generally weren't so much to do with team shape or team organisation. It was just a lot of individual errors. We went through a spell where, where things just didn't quite drop, drop for us. You, you, you get games where a player makes a mistake and the ball ends up in your goalkeeper's hands or, or it's cleared and you end, you end up with a run of games where you make a mistake and everything's punished and that's that's what happened. On the other hand, we were going the other end and scoring lots of goals. So it was, we scored a lot of goals and only came out with one win from those three games. Um, as a team, we're, we're relatively solid. Um, the individual mistakes have been cut out and hence we've had clean sheet now in the FA Cup and only conceded one today. That second goal, any youngster is told from a very young age, always follow in, always follow in. Marvin Armstrong did that today and he managed to get a great goal. Well, I, I mean, the saying I've used here and I've used it a lot is to all the players, run to goal. So you always run to goal. Um, and Marv, great, ran to goal. Just run, never know what happens. The ball normally ends up in and around the goal or in the goalkeeper's hands. So run to goal, you get a chance. Both ends. And had Nicky done that earlier on when the goalkeeper did spill one, I think he'd have had a tap in as well. So it's all about running to goal at uh, both ends, defensively and attacking, and you'll get your rewards both ways. Um, I must touch very quickly on the um, penalty shout for Barnet um, in the last five, ten minutes. Idris Carney booked for an apparent simulation. What are your thoughts on that one? From where we were, it looked like a penalty. Um, this time the fourth official wasn't stood in our way because it was the other end of the pitch. Um, and it looked like a penalty. Um, I was surprised it wasn't given. I was surprised it just got booked. Um, the referee's closer to it and obviously it looked different from where he was. But certainly from where we were and on the bench, it looked like a penalty. And obviously Dean got very upset at the fact it wasn't given. Hey ho, fortunately for us, didn't matter. We got the three points. That's all that really counts today. We go to Bromley on Tuesday night. What are the preparations going to look like over the weekend and into Monday? Well, in terms of the three points, I mean, that's that's all we want, every game, um, regardless of... And I, I thought today we, we earned it and we deserved it. So credit to all the players. I mean, they put in a good performance today. In terms of preparation, um, the players will look after themselves. They'll do everything right this weekend. It's recovery on Monday. You know, the staff will be tomorrow. We'll be watching video of, of the opposition, Bromley, and uh, pulling it together so that on Monday we can sit with Dean and go through it with Dean. Um, and then we'll present to the players, the opposition. Um, we'll do a little bit, um, very light out on the training ground, obviously with the games Tuesday. Go through um, set pieces and anything else we need to go through and then uh, off we go. Mel, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Up the bees. Okay.